Hey, 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 Taurus, this is your sacred scribe here ready to do your January 8th to the 10th intuitive love weekend read. This is for my Tauruses, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully you guys can get something out of it today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Taurus, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on. I'm going to get a channel message in just one moment. But first, there's Tarot, King of Swords. What else is going on? Wow, Queen of Swords. That's funny. Oh, holy schmoly, the Tower. And the lovers. Wow, Taurus. <laughs> okay. At the bottom of the deck, the Five of Pentacles. All right, Taurus. So let's get this message and see what is up for you, shall we? Set your intentions for the universe. Taurus. Focus on this within the next week. Be clear, concise, and write them down as well. When you write things down, Taurus, they become more real, especially for you. You like the tangible, Taurus. You like the touch. Tell yourself you are deserving of all that you desire. And know it, feel it, because you are. You're heading towards major manifestations. And this is why we say this. Continue on the path of a higher vibrational frequency. And do your best to remain there. We know nobody's perfect. But be aware of your energy as you go about your day. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Taurus, I'm seeing this bright, 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 bright color green. Like, you know what it reminds me of, Taurus? Um, back in 2016 or 15, do the 15 or 16, the first time that I saw my, one of my chakras in the mirror was the heart chakra. And it was this green that was unlike any green that I've seen. That rhymed. Um, and that reminded me of that. So I, I feel like your heart chakra is on fire. That's what I'm feeling. Like Spirit just talked about manifestation. And I can totally feel that. Because it, your manifestations are going to come from you know, um, you're feeling it. And especially when it comes to love, obviously you're going to be feeling it in the heart space. And I feel like it's just lighting up. Okay, so what's going on here? Now, you do have love here. And I feel like it's going to be taking you by surprise here. With the lovers, this is Gemini. You can totally be a Gemini. 
with the King of Swords and Queen of Swords here. Very interesting. So let's clarify. Um, Stoke to clarify here. Tell me about the, wow, King of Pentacles. Okay, what else? This may be an emperor or an empress here. Four of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. Definitely an emperor or an empress is about to enter your life. Tell me the Queen of Swords. What is this? What, what did I just say? The Emperor. Aries, Taurus, Energy. Ten of Swords. Oops. Sorry about that, Taurus. The Moon. And the Knight of Cups. Wow. Taurus. I'm feeling a, um, a lot of love from this spread. Now, for some of you, it's, it's similar to Gemini's in that when you let go of something that you've been hanging on to, boom. I just heard boomerang effect. That's what I just heard. So it's like as soon as you let it go, boom, love's coming towards you. So whatever this is that you're letting go of, I do feel it has to do with love. And this you cannot see yet. It's not, it's not in your sphere, not yet. But it's, they're headed towards you. Ah, let's see what this tower is. Tell me about the tower. This is scorpionic energy. Ooh, the devil. Dun, dun, dun. Talk about sexy time. It could be a Capricorn. Three of Swords. Healing. For some of you, this is somebody from the past that betrayed you, hurt you, lied to you. They're coming back. Not for all of you, but for some of you. Clarify this again. The Empress. Oh my gosh. This is you. For most of you, though, what I am feeling is you're standing in your power. I told you the green. Like there's a lot of green in here. It's just oh, this beautiful green that I just saw. So this is letting go. This is healing, right? This is looking at your shadow side. So for some of you, there's some major epiphanies that are coming. Major epiphanies, major awakenings. Tell me about the lover's card. This is changing your life. This is going to change your life forever. Strength. <laughs> yeah. You're going to need strength, Leo energy, because this is going to shock you. I, 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 and I truly want to use the word shock. Nine of swords, anxiety and fear. This may take you very much off guard. And because of this change, now Taurus, you're a fixed energy. You're not one for change unless you have um, mutable energies in your chart, right? Knight of swords. And the hangman. Okay. You're going to like, this is going to take you so much by surprise. You may peace out for a moment because of this anxiety. And you're going to be like, okay, I need to, I need to listen to my intuition here with the knight of swords. Perhaps even look into your shadow side um, to see about the remnants that were left behind from this heartbreak here. Wow. So how does this emperor or empress feel um, towards Taurus here? Queen of Cups. Wow. Very deeply. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. It, um, this person is very intuitive. I'm getting that from the Queen of Cups. I feel like they are going to express themselves to you. Two of Wands. There's a decision that you're going to need to make, and it's because of this shock. I don't necessarily feel Knight of Wands. 
No, it's not player energy um, because this is an emperor or an empress. This decision is because it takes you by surprise. And I feel like the sexual energy is very high, especially with that devil card here. And the Knight of Wands, you're going to you're gonna have fun with this person. Four of Cups, be careful you're paying attention, okay, to your intuition. If you focus on balancing your chakras and balancing your energy, okay, you're gonna, your intuition is not going to steer you in the wrong direction here, okay? Yeah, this is their intention. The fool. They want to take a leap of faith with you. Aries, um, Sagittarius energy for me as a reader. So what is your advice for Taurus here? Huh. Six of Cups. See, there's that past coming up again. Reminiscing. If you're reminiscing about the past, try to remember the loving memories, okay? There's no real reason to focus on the negative memories unless you're looking at your shadow side to address something, okay? But e even then, you don't want that energy lingering for long. Don't avoid the shadow side, just saying, okay? So they're wanting you to feel this in your heart space. This is a very childlike, innocent love, right? Six of Pentacles. Be careful with doing too many things at once here. Yeah, Five of Swords and Ace of Wands. They're wanting you to move forward in love here. But be careful of doing too many things. I feel like also in the Ace of Wands, this is about a project. A creative project. What's this about, Spirit? <sighs> okay. Be careful that your ego doesn't get in the way here. You want to do an ego check. And that goes back to the shadow side as it relates to love, okay? The ego tries to convince us of things that just aren't there. Uh, just just be aware of this, okay? It's at the bottom of the deck. Look at that. Ten of Cups. Yeah, that's that feeling of emotional fulfillment. That feeling of, of love, right? So let's get an advice card. Inspire passion. Life devoid of passion can be boring uninspired blank canvas that slowly drains the soul now is a time to reignite your passions and rejoin life this is an opportunity to set new goals which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred yeah that's what i was feeling with the ace of wands so this is not only love this is something that um perhaps a new project something that's very creative and gives you energy and sparks you up i'm feeling all right, Taurus, that's the that's the sacral chakra, right? The sexual chakra, the creative chakra. All right, Taurus, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already have it. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a great weekend, Taurus, and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.